With Erling Haaland dominating the game with three captaincy pole and no real strong alternatives, I thought it would be more helpful to instead use this Thursday slot to showcase a wildcard draft. I have no plans to use it myself this week, but if your team needs it and you are considering it, here's an example of what I would be looking to do. Mark Flecken has helped Brentford make a positive start to the season and there are plenty more good fixtures on the way. They've conceded just one big chance so far, with only Man City allowing fewer. Purvis Estepinian has produced leading tallies of 5 shots and 8 attempted assists among defenders, while Ben Chilwell ranked second only to the Brighton left-back for expected goal involvements. Deputising for the injured Reese James, Cut price Milo Gusto offers a temporary double up on Chelsea defence ahead of generous ties with Luton, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth. Dampened by the potential loss of penalty duties, the Kaiosaka still boasts team leading tallies of 6 open play shots, 5 attempted assists and 18 touches in the opposition penalty box this season. In the absence of De Bruyne, Phil Foden stepped up as Man City's chief creative spark in their win over Newcastle, where he set up the game's only goal and supplied a further 6 attempted assists. Converting from the penalty spot in both game weeks so far, Brian Embermo has accumulated a leading total of four big chances among midfielders. Only Marcus Rashford and Sonny March have fared better for non-penalty expected goals. Producing returns in each of the opening game weeks, Karu Matoma ranks joint first with Foden for attempted assists and is at home for three of his next four matches. Despite blanks in his first two outings, Nico Jackson ranks third among forwards for expected goals, only behind Neil Mope and Johan Wisser. Only Haaland, Wisser and Edouard have attempted more than his six shots in the box. No forward has carved out as many attempted assists this season as Julian Alvarez, whose sensational first half strike against Newcastle proved enough to maintain Man City's winning start. Fulham and Nottingham Forest are next up to visit the Etihad. Matt Turner can be used to rotate with Flecken, he faces Burnley and Crystal Palace in game weeks 5 and 8, when Brentford take on Newcastle and Man United. Doubtful for this weekend with a minor strain, James Madison has good long-term fixtures to target, including Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton in the next six game weeks. Likewise, Spurs teammate Destiny Udogi has caught the eye from left-back, with no defender completing more passes in the final third this season. One for the future, after some tough opening fixtures, here in Trippier faces Chef United, Burnley, Crystal Palace and Wolves between game weeks 6 and 10. Let me know your thoughts on this wildcard draft in the comments below, and be sure to check out my other game week 3 content if you haven't already.